Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moose production, and we're back with Agalos for the Nintendo Switch. We're back here in Firetown? Anyways, this place. And there's these holes we haven't investigated yet. There is a hole in the cliff. It is too small for you to enter. So now that we have our liar, we can go into this bar. Let's remind ourselves of what these people say. What are you doing in the tavern? This place is not for kids. The magician used to play on this stage, but he doesn't come here anymore. Hint, 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 hint. I'm bored. It's been a long time since I heard an artist play some music. Well, that just means we have to play the liar. And you must do this in order to get 100%. Make sure to talk to everybody. That was splendid. I will let you in on a valuable secret. Blue slimes are allergic to iron. Well, we already pointed that out in the previous video. That's why I'm, I mentioned that it was a bit of sequence breaking. I'm going to be doing some sequence breaking again in this video, by the way. You play very well. And he gives 5,000 experience. Thank you, that was beautiful. And we get a lot of gems. Again, this counts towards 100%. Do not forget to do this. You don't play that badly. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and go to Palulu Town. Our objective now is to go to Babel, which is right here. Play the liar. You hear a powerful voice from the tower. How pleasant the, mel the melody that awakens me. It is high time for me to rise. And now, very much like Must World 4, we have a giant tower sprouting out of the ground. And this tower is relatively straightforward. Make sure to defeat the enemies once again. Our objective is to press buttons that open various paths that we have to go into. And I think I have the path that I have to go to somewhat outlined. If not, this area is not super complicated. So there's a total of five switches that we have to press. I think I just have to go down from here? Maybe not. Here we go. We will be able to get into there, but there's really no point quite yet. I say that just as I realize there is a point to doing it. Anyways, time for a mini boss, I guess? So this guy only really has two types of attacks, and there they are. Just try to inflict as much damage as possible while avoiding the attacks, as per usual. And there we go.
And by pressing that button, we pretty much open up the exit to this area. But there's one thing we have to get before we leave. And that is that chest. Which is full of gems. So we don't need to worry too much about our health right now, and the reason is because I will show you momentarily. We can go to the top here and play the liar again. And we will get hearts, pretty much giving us full health once again. And I think you can do that unlimited amount of times. So this thing is a thing that we have to drop a pillar onto, which we will do very soon. We also want to get lots of gems. By the way, what was that? It was the elixir which recovers all hearts. By the way, here's a glitch. The sound goes away if you pause in this area. And after all this time, it has still not been fixed. So be prepared to not have music in these areas if you ever pause the game. It actually makes the game very dull. So here we are. Celestia Village. A few people to talk to here. Shopkeeper. The merchant who preceded me is, uh, in this shop was mysteriously disappeared. Has mysteriously disappeared. One day there was a huge column of light. And we never saw my predecessor again. But strangely, I'm not afraid to be here. There's a lot of foreshadowing going on. We'll figure out why that is later. Before I was a soldier of Valiant, but I didn't want to help his destructive projects. I then became a subject of King Gentle. Now I protect the realm of Lumen. Be very careful if you want to go to the Air Temple. Because Valiant recruited birdmen like me. And we are very strong. That is very true. There is a column above the village. We tried to push it, but it is impossible. It is said that only the messenger can move the sacred columns. Gee. I wonder who that could be. I trade yellow gems against purple gems. In other words, Money for experience. 10,000 yellow gems against 1,000 gems. Or, yeah. Trade? No. Don't really want to do that right now. Because we need to buy some new stuff. Let's save. We want to get all of the stuff in here. Take care of fighting with the lightning sword underwater. Make sure you use the lightning armor. I found this armor some time ago, but it is very poor quality, so I'll sell it for only 53 gems. Yes, I want to buy that. Lightning armor, 80,000 gems. Buy lightning armor? Yes. And lightning sword, can't buy it right now, no, it's 50,000 gems. But let's go into our equipment. What did we just get? Lightning armor, which is what we will equip. And hey, look, it's the armor of Agalos, but it's not very good right now. We do want to get that sword. So we might have to do some grinding, but first, let's 
go over here. Something we need to do here, so we may as well get rid of as many enemies as possible. Okay, there's one pillar. And there is a place to push this pillar. We haven't quite found it quite yet, but we are going in that direction. There we go, it's right there. Now that that's done, here's another pillar. And we'll make our way over here. some experience. The gate is closed. However, there seems to be nothing behind it. final pillar. And we didn't go over in that direction, but that's okay. We wouldn't have been able to proceed further anyway. Okay, so what we want to do here is do that. And here's a bit of sequence breaking, basically because I know this is here. Okay, so what you're supposed to do here is use earth magic and then use water and you grow this plant with hearts on it. And it also gives us a heart container. Now that that's done, we'll make our way back to town. Okay, as you can see, I did a bit of grinding to get some gems because I wanted to buy the lightning sword. It is very important to have this sword. Actually, I'm going to equip the bubble sword for now and coral armor because we got to go under the sea. Back to Atlant's village? No, uh, the deep. No, oh, the abyss. That's what it's called. Because remember that electric eel? This guy? Well, let's equip the lightning sword and do that.
Thank you, stranger. I feel so great. I can go back home now. And we get a heart container. All right, so now that we're back in Celestia Village, we will go ahead and go to that golden area that we opened up. And by the way, now this lightning sword has projectiles, which are very powerful. And we can talk to this guy. In this direction, there is a tree from the ground. I just imported it. It's strange, isn't it? Do you want to know more about trees? Sure I do. In Celestia, there is a tree that grows hearts. Hey, we were already there. This is what I was talking about. It's a fast-growing tree, but it needs water and soil. Well, we already did that, so thanks anyway for that information. By the way, here's an important thing that we will come back to later. I am Gom, the priest. If you come back with the Agalos equipment and pure water, I could perform a blessing to return its power. You should go to Palulu's library to find more information. I think we already did that a while ago. Where am I? I was napping in a tree not far from my forest. And I woke- WAKE UP HERE! <laughs> How do I get back home? It's very far and there are many monsters on the way. If you help me to get home, I will help you in your quest. Do you accept? Well, I don't even get an option. I just automatically say yes. Thank you! You need to go to the air temple, but the guardian refuses to give you the key came at the right time. Bring me to the Guardian's house in Fyra Village and I will help you. Let's go! Alright, so I could fast forward or skip any of this, but I think it's important to know the quickest route to where we need to go. May as well save. No, you cannot teleport to any of these places. You have to walk there. Wait, did I talk to that guy? I think I did. Oh, he did. He does say something new. The sacred column was moved. It means the messenger is among us. Because only he can do that. I am full of hope. I think I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. Okay, we can't do anything with this yet. Now we are all the way back here. So basically we just have to keep going left. These enemies are pretty pointless right now. I don't like that those eyeballs keep following me. And while I'm doing this, I may as well mention that I went ahead and bought a new high quality microphone. I'm not using it right now, but I'm going to use it probably in the next video. I bought it and then I realized I need a mic holding stand 
and uh, in order to get free shipping I also got one of those things that you use to cover a microphone to eliminate background noise, and wind and etc. I've already tested it out and it sounds really good so I'm hoping that this will improve the quality of my videos, at least the audio quality, and maybe help lower the amount of post-production editing that I have to do as far as audio is concerned. Because as I've mentioned before, I have to basically go through all of my audio recordings and manually remove all the, the quiet sections because they are not in fact quiet. They have a low hum which needs to be removed. And with the new microphone, I don't think that's there. But we'll see, I might still have to do it. And even if that's the case, the audio quality is better. But that's what happens when you buy a cheap microphone first time around. In order to replace an even cheaper microphone. So now we are back here. This is the Air Temple Guardian's home. You go inside and speak to him as a diversion. Meanwhile, I will find a way to sneak behind him and take the take his key. Then I will open the lock up there. After that, I will put the key back. That way he won't notice. Do you understand? Yes, I do. So now we get to play as the monkey. And the monkey can go into these little holes that we were seeing around. Fairly straightforward. The monkey can hang on those things, by the way. Also very helpful and useful. So we're going to do a bit of Super Mario action here and go down the chimney. Maybe Santa Claus action. But it reminds me a bit more of Super Mario. So now we go in here. Bet you didn't notice those first time around. I didn't, that's for sure. But now I know about them. And now we can open this. A mechanism activates somewhere. I feel like I said mechanism weird. Now that door is open, and hey, there's something back there. Now we need to get the key back to the Guardian. Alrighty then. That's fairly straightforward. There you go. There you go, the portal to Celestia is open. Now you need to take me back home to the forest. All right, here we go again. May as well save. Once again, I'm not going to edit any of this out because again, it's important to know the quickest way back to where we want to go. Oh yeah, I forgot I could do that. keep wanting to down attack those guys and it never works out. Okay, so here we go. I'm home! Thank you for bringing me back. I hope you will succeed in your quest. Thank you for bringing back my son. I was beginning to get worried. By the way, they steal money from me? That's not very nice. So now that that's done, we'll just go ahead and make our way to 
the door that we opened. Then I think I'll end the video there. I'm not sure how long this video will be, but I think that's enough. I don't need to go in here. Because I'm holding up on the controller. Entirely my fault. By the way, this is another area where if you pause, the music will go away. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I want the music to play. We got these weird, funky enemies now. We also have Birdman. Remember the guy mentioned those? Birdman? By the way, this is also a good area to grind for experience which I will eventually do because before the end of the game I want to have max experience, max level. And we're pretty much here at the save point so we're gonna go ahead and end the video here so thank you very much for watching this has been a Yesterday's Moose production and I'll see you next time!